Solving ordinary differential equations by hand can be tedious, or in some cases, impossible. For many applications, it is sufficient to find an approximate solution using a numerical solver. How can we use MATLAB to solve an ODE numerically? The most commonly used ODE solver in MATLAB is the ODE45 function. This function takes three input arguments. The first argument is a function handle representing the derivative of the dependent variable with respect to the independent variable. The second argument is the interval for the independent variable on which we want to approximate the solution. The third input argument is the value of the dependent variable at the start of the solution interval. The ODE45 function returns two outputs. The first is a column vector of values of the independent variable, chosen automatically by the solver, where a solution has been approximated. The second output is a column vector of the corresponding solution values. Now that we know the syntax of the ODE45 function, let's use it to solve the ODE for logistic population growth. We begin by creating variables for each of the three input arguments. The first variable is the function handle for the derivative of p. To simplify the function definition, we define variables for r and k. Then define the function handle using these variables. It is important to note that the function handle must take both the independent and dependent variables as arguments, even though they may not appear in the function definition. Also, the arguments must be listed with the independent variable first, followed by the dependent variable. Next, let's define the solution interval as a 1 by 2 vector that specifies the start and end values for t and then create a variable for the initial value of p. Now we call the ODE45 function to obtain the numerical solution for the population p. The two outputs, tsol and psol, are a vector of values representing time points and the corresponding population size at those times. We can use these vectors to visualize the solution which helps us better understand the model's behavior. 